All right, my friends, I want to welcome you to the Ginky Memorial 2012. Manny Stamaxis versus Gary Callahan. Callaghan, okay. So we're going to get this match going here. This is the InsidePoolMag.com as well as NYCGrind.com. Joint production. Co-production here. Look at this little clicker. All right, we're going to get these boys going, so hang on now. Hear, hear me? All right. Blasting out worldwide into the stars. Here from New York City, the Big Apple. Quite an experience we've been having here at Amsterdam Billiard Club. Hey, TV. TV table. Here we go. All right. Bada bing. So we want to thank DashMotorOil.com for their support. Predator Cues, Kamui Tips and Cloth. The Predator Pro-Am Tour. So please visit all their websites. Send them some thank you emails, all that good stuff. All right, Manny owns Steinway Billiards in Astoria, I've just been told. We're gonna get this puppy underway. here. Opening break. Get a ball in. See where the one goes. See where the one goes. Not today, my friend. Maybe next time. Jump shot. Now playing on table 24, Jack Como, Angel Ortega. Even race to seven, table 24. And on table 26. All right, Upstate Al is going to join me here. Hey, back in action. Back in action. Have we started this match already? Yeah, it's it's underway. Okay, we got Manny and Gary O'Callaghan, huh? Yeah, I'm not sure either one of these players, really. Do we know if there's any games on the wire spots? I'm not sure. They pretty much just stepped up there and started playing, so we'll... All right. And speaking of Steinway Billiards, uh, Earl is the house, house pro there, Earl Strickland. 
And I just talked to Earl today, and he told me he's going back to the short queue. He said he's given up on the long queue. So you, you heard it here first. Inside pool mag, NYC grind exclusive. Earl Strickland has given up the queue. He says it's messing up his game. He's going he's gonna to go back to the normal queue. So he says. So we'll see. We'll see what happens there. So Manny here is uh, working with Earl at Steinway Billiards. I wonder if he's been taking some lessons from Earl. I think he's been taking some lessons from Earl? Yes, he has. Um, I can tell he has. I can already tell. Uh, did you tell everybody who Manny is? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Good. Also, we have a little update. Manny gets one game on the wire. Okay. Going to seven. Uh, Manny did have a great tournament and a good turnout there at the last classic in Steinway. He also put a five by 10 in. Uh, Earl is the... Uh, The house pro there. So is this guy's <laughs> Gary O. Callahan? Callahan. Callahan. That's the way you spell it. Yeah. With no apostrophe or an apostrophe? There's an apostrophe. Okay. In there. Wonderful. I figured so. Yes, he's an Irish lad. Something. Some kind of lad. Oh, Callahan. He is from Ireland. Yeah. I just spoke with him. He's some some form of lad. Table six. Bill Meyer. Nice guy too. I've been. Yes. So did we, did we give uh, Manny one? Yes. Get him up here. There we go. Okay. There's the score. We're racing to seven. We're here at Amsterdam Billiard yes, Club. Yes, we are. In the whole Manhattan area. And we are having a blast. And oh, yeah. I, you know, there's a lot of pros coming in the door. I've uh -huh. seen uh, Oscar Dominguez yep. stop by. And uh, I guess they're going to come and practice a little bit tonight. Pro events tomorrow, right? Tomorrow it starts at noon. Yeah. Okay. There you heard it. Upstate Al filling you in. The reason you haven't heard Alvin Nelson on the mic <laughs> that much is because he's been jumping around here, setting up wires and doing last minute ticks and uh -huh. tacks and just tuning everything in. A little bit. Yeah, a little lot. <laughs> <laughs> but it's there, and everything's yeah. working fine. Hope everybody out there is enjoying the stream. It's amazing that it's all working right. But uh, Ginky, uh, I think Ginky's spirit really helps make this event really smooth. Yeah, I really did. I mean, it's been incredibly smooth, Al. I mean, besides a little upset with uh, that we had yesterday on the subway. Uh, right. Other than that getting to Brooklyn. I'm telling you just, what. There was no traffic. I couldn't believe it. I'm telling you what. The spirit of Ginky has really uh, come through. I'm telling you, the lights all went up perfect. The cameras went up perfect. Everything's been working perfect. The room's been perfect. The players have been perfect. I've never seen anything like it. And everybody coming together for Ginky like that. We all got the stickers on with Ginky on them. And uh, his picture's up there. His, his wonderful painting up there. His picture's all over the walls. Yes. It's... Yes. Uh, very well loved fella uh, in this poor world. Yeah, he sure was. In person. He's a great uh, guy. Just in person, totally. Yeah. I remember when I first started working in pool 10, 12 years ago, he real, he treated me good, man. He didn't know who I was, but he would he let me get pictures with him. And oh, yeah, yeah. Approachable. He was cool. Very, very, very approachable. Very yeah, approachable. Absolutely. Remembered my name. Remembers everybody's name, you know. Yeah. Somebody remembers your name that you just met, you know, after a while. That's really good. You know, that shows that they, they care. Oh, he just butchered that ball. You know, he's going to be uh, dreaming about that one tonight. Bad dream about that one tonight. Well, man, he's got Jerry a test here. He's got to sink this one in the hole and go up two. Mm -hmm. He's going to sink this one, just concentrate. He's, he's got nothing to do with no English. He doesn't have any problem not going to scratch. Just Mike concentrate Harrington. on making the nine table ball. 15, not table five. So he's got to concentrate on Jose Quillen, Mike Harrington, 15.
And nice. he accomplished. All right, good job. Well, Manny now takes the lead two to nothing over Gary O'Callaghan. You know, as far as I understand, I mean, this is, you know, the pool world, uh, anybody listening, uh, the pool world is that small, size of a dime, you know, when you're involved in the pool, whether it be taking place over in Manila or Absolutely. China or any place or in the United States. Absolutely. That's how small it is. And this gentleman here about to break, man, he's really doing a lot for pool. He's coming out with a lot of creative tournaments. Nice. He, you know, he's, he's donating a lot of time and, and Sponsoring money Earl. Sponsoring Earl. Take, you know, helping Earl out, which is awesome. We all appreciate. Look at this. Oh, right in the drink. Wow. Tough, tough action here at Amsterdam Billiard Club. All right, so Gary's going to step up to bat. I mentioned to uh, Gary, I mentioned the name to Gary, Liam Robinson. Irish fella from, uh, from I hope I pronounced it right, Deary, Ireland. Um, a friend of mine, I still talk to him on Facebook and whatnot. He did move out of the States. He used to hang out with the gangster quite often. They used to road it. Right. Excellent player, snooker champion from Ireland. And I asked Gary if he knew Liam, but uh, you know, Gary's I guess an up and coming new player into the league and uh, he said he didn't know Liam so I told him we'll look him up on Facebook and uh, you know maybe they can get together and have conversations. Liam now is a bodybuilder, avid bodybuilder, got big as a house, he's always working out, all muscle. Nice. Oh there's a subway under our feet. Yeah it sounds like uh, somebody beating on a bass drum. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, very unique experience. Having a coming from California, you might get a little nervous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, being in New York, it's a subway. Out in California, it's a train. Right, trauma. exactly. Oh, he got caught up. Look at that. See that? Right. Just got to keep his composure. You here. got to. You got to stop Play it. safe. Can't talk to yourself. This is the wrong move here. See, all if this he, thinking if and if he all goes that. to the bank because he, you know, he he blew his position. If he goes to the bank and he misses it, probably the wrong move. Just play a nice little safe. Trap him yep, up. That's it. Oh, he's got the extension out. Nice. Yeah, Earl's giving up the long cue. I allowed everybody to know already on the stream. Did he you know that? Died. No, I didn't know that. Yeah, he's done with it. Really? Yep. He's well, going he's back to the normal size cue. Can you believe that? He just says it's messing his game up. I don't believe it. It's How what he told that? me this morning. I think Earl will be practicing on a five by ten with the long uh -huh. <laughs> with the long Q and A, <laughs> and just telling everybody he's giving it up. Uh huh. I think that was a Mike Galassi that made that for him, wasn't it? Yeah, Mike Galassi. Yeah, yep, that's Earl's Q sponsor. Galassi Q's BabiesProShop.com. Little free plug there for Mike. And uh. Gary got a little funny here. He wanted to come up a little bit further. Take a look at the chin, splitting the stick, splitting yeah. the chin. But his eyes are all crooked and cross-eyed there. His, uh, now, his, wait a minute. His head was tilted. His head, <laughs> uh, that's what I meant. His head's tilted on his shot, which is the only thing I don't like. Okay, I can But I like everything that. else what he's, what he's doing. He's he got just, fortunate to get this part of the position, uh -huh. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, he did. Yeah. On, the, on the verge of putting the game up on his side of his beats. And he sure does. He definitely has a stroke and the uh, oh yeah, the posture of a snooker player. What happened to Devil Dave? Devil Dave is somewhere wandering, ro roaming around the oh, pool room, roaming around on the couch over there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Devil Dave just had a new member of the family. He's got a granddaughter, and he's been up. And I was at the house last night, all night. They're taking shifts on the baby. Yeah, giving his daughter a break, you uh -huh. know, and his wife would come down, and and I heard him up all night long. Of course, I was up. Devil man. Definitely want to uh, thank everybody out there on the Ustream chat. 
Geekstream.tv. Big shout out to them. Thanks for all their help. Absolutely. And anybody that's out there, please hit the share button under the viewer. Yep. And let's bring this tournament to another level. Yeah, you can kick us out on Facebook, all that. If that's what ye likes. Let's see what this lad here does. Oh, what a mighty good break. But he didn't pot nothing. Ah, he didn't pot anything. <laughs> There's no pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, unfortunately, on that one, my friend. I love Irish people. They're really awesome, you know. I like to m find me a little Irish girl, a little Irish lassie. A, a lassie. A lassie. All right, so here we go. Hopefully you all in, uh, can see everything clear on the table there. I like just bringing the one ball up towards the other, short cushion at the top of the monitor, yep. banking it up That's that the way. That's the shot. I don't, I don't like playing the combination here. No. Or uh, drop down to the two. Well, uh, he course, played it Matt nice. Played look, it. look, look. He's going to lose it. He's going to lose it. It's done. It's done. Well, he's got a good save. Yeah, he just beats the ball up table. and He's got plenty of blockers to hide behind the 5-9 up there. I don't know why he's jacking up. Yeah, like this, this doesn't make sense. He's trying to keep the cue ball down this way yeah. and bring the one up the other way. Oh, just feathered it. Wow. How about the 7-4? Yeah. Right. No, well, he gives him some... Uh, he I really does give him a shot here, I think. I think he's going to play that rail Let's first. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at another angle here. Yeah, I think... He, no, he can't see it. I figured he could beat the ball into the rail and s slide in there. You know, rail first. He's, he's looking at the uh, the bank. He looks uh -huh. like he's going to go up the short rail and try to kick the one in. The only... The fortunate thing for him is that the two ball is down that side, side of the table is the one. See, that's the only thing he's got going for him. So all he's got to do is make this one ball and not follow it in with the cue ball. And he'll have position on the two. Well, he shouldn't second guess himself. He needs to just beat this ball in. Now he played it sharp. Well, he's going to give up ball in hand now. All right. You know, giving Manny ball in hand from here and a chance to go up about those three games. And you, and Gary's sitting in the seat, not looking so good. He's looking like he's flying at 40,000 feet with a uh -huh. one of those bags just in case he has to puke. Definitely. He couldn't believe that he banked that ball so bad. Okay, George, straight back. Get on the left side of that five ball. That's the shot. Needs the angle now to get back on the six. Yeah, I like the way this guy plays. He plays real solid. Uh, solid stance, good follow through. Stays down on the shot real nice. That helps throw in the pool room and get out there and practice Sure, every day. sure he gets and to play Earl there too. Have Earl right there. Earl costs a lot of money to keep around, so. <laughs> yeah, he does. A lot of fun, too. Oh, yeah. Don't get any better. What sound advice Earl has? I mean, you can't listen to anybody who knows anything more about the way things work with the game. So, good investment, I'd say. You know, obviously, sure. it's paying off. A lot of knowledge. Well, that one wiped his feet on the way in. Yeah, man, he's looking to run this out. That'd be a good idea. That's the play. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Just bounce right across the table for the eight in the other corner where he's lying down there. Whether he has an angle or not, he can shoot it in either corner. Just roll up and shoot the nine into the opposite corner.
Manny calls the bottom right hand corner of the table. You have to call the nine ball here. All right. And accomplishes it once again. Manny now leads three to one. We're racing the seven. All right, hope everybody's having fun out there. I know I'm having fun. I know Upstate Owl's having a lot of fun. Oh, I'm having a blast, man. This place is electric. Uh-huh. It's going to be electric until the end of the tournament. Yep. Until the last ball drops. That's it. You know, Tony's put something really nice together here. He's doing a great job. He's come a long way. Well, Tony's always been really professional. I even noticed that when I first started being involved in pool. I always thought... I remember thinking, man, this Tony guy, you know, he's real real presentable, very professional, well-dressed. Sure is. Up, you know, polite, clean, you yep. know. Look at this nice break. Look at him squat that rock. Wonderful. Now, if the nine ball would have went in there, for those of you who just tuned in, it, it wouldn't have counted. It would have been spotted. The nine ball only counts in the upper four pockets right. of the table. I see. It doesn't count in the bottom two. Exactly. All right, Gary's got to show up here. You can't let uh, Manny keep rolling the way he's rolling. Definitely. He's only given him one game on a wire, so they're pretty well even, just about even matched. Okay, he's got a tester straight down the rail. Hey, Jerry. I need those files again on that thing. I don't know. I don't know why they're not saving it. I'll try to save them into a different folder. You don't have to write the second at the end of this match. He took it. He left with the card. Well, we're doing the dash or the. Gary elected to play safe and overhit it. Wound up letting the three ball leak out. All Manny's got to do is keep Gary's shoulder cold right now. Yep. Keep him in his seat. Nice shot. Played it, played it yep. long. Took his time. Now, he's got to either slow roll this. I can't tell the angle from here. He might be able to slow roll it and save the five for the side pocket. Or up in the corner, unless he elects to go two rails back and forth across yeah. the table here. He's just going to dink this ball, I think. Play the five in the side. If he doesn't like the angle, you'll see him go two rails back mm -hmm. and forth. It's always good to go at least one and out. Like he's drawing to break the five out of there. Is that what he's doing? I don't like that. That's Why would he do, do that? Bad decision. Yeah, I don't like that. He still has a shot, but can he get around the seven and get back out no. to the six if he banks this five ball across the side? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, I am not sure what the move is here. I think kick the five up and try to land it behind the behind the seven possibly. Or two rails that way, but you gotta bring the cue ball back. Right. It Hide it behind the eight. That's what he did. Uh, oh, he gave him the cheese shot. Yeah, that's the only thing I don't like about yeah. that next object ball down there by the nine, but uh huh. Oh he's gotta go for it. He could have played it a little bit better than that. Oh, he's gonna go for it. Whether he goes for the billiard or the combination, he's going to go for it. This is a big turnaround here. If uh, Gary can pocket this nine ball, now we're looking at 3-2 and him breaking. Hey. 
hangs it up and leaves Manny with a 5-7 combination into the corner pocket. Now we've seen him pocket the 1-3 th the combination in a similar fashion in the other corner. Looked like he shot it with confidence. You know, some players are pretty good at combinations. I think he's got to control the five ball here. Man, did he control the five ball. Split the jaws with another combination. Nice. Nice shot. It's going to be a well-deserved rack here. I think all that playing Earl is going to be paying off for him. You want it to be straighter on the six ball. Uh-huh. Concentrate and play the eight right in the side pocket where the six ball is. If he's got that angle. If not, he can play it in the other corner. Just make the six. Man, he's hitting them pretty good. Yeah, he's hitting them nice. Got a good foundation and good skills, good skill set. Well, this nine's pretty buried in the pocket, but it should be no problem. It looks like he's got he's off the rail there a little bit. So as long as he doesn't scratch, there you go. All right. Manny now takes the lead. Four to one. Okay, Manny broke there. We were uh, doing our little Predator commercial. Big thanks to them. Well, let's see what we got. Well, well if he's got any kind of shot. I think he's, he's got a decent view of the one, at least. And he could bank it and try to drag the cue ball back. It's a natural shot. I'm not sure if he's got it. Let's have a look at the other side of the table here. Hard to tell. He's kind of in that funny spot. Let's see what he's got. It's going to be our best view here. Looks like he's going to play safe. He might have a piece of the one and bring the cue ball back down around the 8-9. Yep. Not so safe. All right, and Gary decides to take his break, and you can't blame him. All right. Four to one in this race to what, eight? Seven. Races. I love races to seven. I love races to seven. That was a big game that last game. Instead of yep. being three to two, now well, Gary's looking at four to one. He decides to take his break time. All right, well. Shake that off and get right back on the table and hopefully shoot his game. Definitely. We want to thank uh, Kamui Tips and Chalk for their sponsorship. What a great company does so much for pool. Kamui, Tips they're in everything, man. Yeah, you guys gotta you know Big support supporters. them. Yeah, I know. Big you gotta support Kamui. They're the guy pumps all kinds of money into pool, so he's doing this for us, helping us with the stream, as well as uh, the dash motor oil. That's fine. Let's see, yeah, that's you. So uh, dash motor oil, NYC grind, Kamui tips, the Predator Pro Am Tour. Make sure you uh, let them know you appreciated the stream this weekend. My friend. Here in, uh, in a New York minute. Ooh, woo. You know what I mean? 
I heard they line all the way around the block for Billy Joel when he plays here. I mean, two and three deep in the middle of winter. Just to see the piano, man. Absolutely. You know? You know, you get any kind of good concert out down at the garden there, you're going to have plenty of people yeah. surrounding it. And you were telling me about uh, Frank Sinatra actually still has his own reserve table. His own booth right in the corner of Patsy's Pizzeria, the original Patsy's. Still there. Wow. Even though he's not alive anymore, he still has a reservation open table. With his table. portrait above it. With his portrait above the table. And there was another restaurant you were telling me about where you can't get in until 2052 or something? Yeah, why don't you try to get into Rayo's? Rayo's? Oh, Rayo's. Where's That's that the at? The original one is still there. It's 116th uh -huh. up that way where Patsy's is. It's right around the corner. So there's 10 tables in the place, right? It's like 10 tables that you can eat at. And what happens is when you reserve that table, that's your table for the complete day. For the whole day. For the whole day. Now, Rayo's also has a spot out in Vegas now, I understand. They have a Rayo's restaurant out in Vegas. Uh-huh. Nice. 2052, that's the next time you can get a table reserved at yeah. Rayo's. Call them up. Yeah, so... Uh, but let them know. We mentioned them on the stream, and uh, maybe they'll let us in there, Al. Could be a good sponsor. Me, you, JR, Devil, the Devil Man. Yeah, me, you, JR, and the Devil Man. They'll tell us to come back in the year 3000. They know we won't <laughs> be around. <laughs> uh, Devil Man's over there snoozing away. So here we are. We're going to come back to 4-1 to one here at the Ginky Memorial. George Sansusi. Uh, spirit lives on. The second annual tournament, and what a turnout it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of people here. Well, everybody loved the guy, you know. They really did. A lot of people are just, they know they ain't going to win this tournament. They're here. They love Ginky. They're here supporting him. If I had people you, tell me that. If there's any way that you believe that there's pool rooms where Ginky is, him and Gypsy are moving right now. Yeah. They're moving like ghosts up there uh -huh. and making games. They were on the road a long time. Good friends. Mm -hmm. All right, Gary makes the one, bumps the two, winds up Jack, and I think he saved himself behind the six. He, he sure did. He, he might want Matty uh, to call the referee over just in case uh, he doesn't hit the two. It looks like he's just going to try to slow yeah. roll it. He's just going to watch for him. He's, he's going to slow roll it to lock the two down. No rail, or did he get the two going in? I am not sure. Looks like uh, he's he got it going in, huh? He must have. Yeah. You know, Manny could just feather this ball, leave some distance. He might be able just to plant the two ball right behind the seven and just leave distance. Not going to leave any kind of shot. If he sees it, he's going to have to play another save. Just plant it. Just like that. Hmm. I've seen him do this for an hour. Yeah, it kind of looks like baby billiards where they work the two balls around the table. Yeah. Have you ever seen the little tiny pool balls? I used to have one of those tables, yeah. <laughs> no, I saw Corey Duell playing uh, nine ball with them little tiny balls on a nine-foot table. That was pretty cool. I think I saw Years ago. You I see him do that the too? golf balls and the, the oversized cue balls. Uh -huh. It was funny seeing him hitting them shots with the... All right, this is a touche. Somebody's going to make a mistake here. This might be a stalemate. This two ball might be frozen. Yeah. The best one I, I had about those cue balls was the obel. It was like an up op, op shape. Or there was really? some kind of like liquid inside the cue ball. <laughs> and Mike Massey used to roll the cue ball up the rail. He would tell everybody he's going to scratch into the side pocket. And as soon as the cue ball got to the side pocket, uh -huh. the, the liquid that was in the cue uh -huh. ball would just put you right in. <laughs> That's awesome. Scratch in the side pocket. That's crazy. You know what I like is that uh, the funniest thing I've seen lately in the past year is uh, that double rack eight ball. You ever see that? Double rack eight ball no. on a bar table? Yeah. 
yeah. Corey looks like to a play diamond. That. Yeah, it's just a, it's a double rack, and then there's one ball at the very underneath the rack, but you got the full huge triangle. It's ca it's crazy. Double on rack eight table. ball. That's kind yeah. of crowded. Double rack eight ball on a bar table. Yeah, that's uh, Corey Duell's new favorite game. Just trying to tuck the two. Uh, he left a little bit of a shot. I don't know if it's makeable, but he left a little bit of more than the two ball than he wanted to. Yeah, that's a pretty nice looking shot there. Kind of a delicious, tasty looking shot. Problem is getting to the four. Delicious, oh, uh, delicious, Danny. Delicious. Danny delicious. Where's Where's delicious boy, at? Why isn't he here? I'm Come sure on, kid. I think I, kid's I driving a taxi it. cab right that's now. What I heard that's he's what he's hacking. He's, yeah. So wherever you are, kid, delicious. What wish, is up? Wish you the best of luck. Definitely, you know Danny. That, buddy. Mega Man. Gary wants uh, somebody to call the shot here. It looks like he's going to play the two ball straight up in the corner pocket. So we're going to get Tony Robles there he out is. here. Tony Robles. There he is, our tournament director. Well, there he was. There he is. Looking to go forward with the cue ball. Good hit. Yep, good hit. Predator Pro-Am Tour is Tony's tour along with the Tri-State Tours, the Mez Tours Mez on there tour, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How about a big hand for Inside Pool Mag and Alvin for doing a lot of the road work and NYC Grind for coming together to bring this to us. Hey, you did your part too, man. Look at this, he made a two ball wow. out of so difficult and missed the four ball. We appreciate you, Upstate Al. Without you, there this would be a one-camera show. So oh man, are good you move. Me? My pleasure. Yeah, you Glad went and saved the day you know, for us. Like you were saying prior, when beginning this match, everything went smooth. Everything went smooth. Everything man. went. Smooth. It was amazing. It's like the gink made it happen, you know. The, the worst part was FedEx keeping me in their office for like an hour. Yeah, I bet you were steaming. Steaming. I was ready to call my lawyer to put me in the witness protection program. I didn't know <laughs> what you guys had. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Everything went smooth. Yeah. So, yeah, big thanks to uh, Upstate Al, Devil Dave, welcome, for their help today. Welcome. Commentating. And they love listening to you guys. Wait so. till you get the bill. I mean, you know. Yeah. You send that to JR. <laughs> <laughs> Manny's been shooting real good. Just looking to come one rail back for seven. I like the way he played it, yep. Re creating a little angle. Sweeping out that pocket there a little bit. What that is, is he actually wasn't really doing anything there. That's more of a mental reset kind of thing, is what that is. There, uh, he may have been brushing something off there, but a lot of those things, like Johnny Archer picking the lint and all that stuff, that's all mental stuff. That's all to reset yourself for Focus. each shot. Refocus, reset yep. yourself. Get your mind as well as in the table. Is, you know, in my opinion, that's it's a mental exercise. And see how nice he played that? Yeah. Well, he's going to beat into the nine, but he should be fine. He's good. Took some chance right there. Yeah. He, some chance. Should have stroked but, a little uh, bit better. But nevertheless, he got the roll. Just comes around and shoots the nine in the same pocket. There it is. Going up five to one here. He pockets this nine ball. Easy does it. Five to one. Five to one. In favor of Manny over Gary. Now Manny's last name is Stamatakis or something like that. I, I hate Oops. to pronounce. Stamatakis. Yeah. Stamatakis, I believe. Isn't that what I just said? There's an echo in there. Yeah, How you doing? Okay, Scotty Bannon checking in. At the you want? You ready to talk? Match. I'm sorry. You ready to talk? Two minutes, and I promise I'll sit. Okay. Wonderful. 
All right, so let's right, see. Manny's got Manny's five. Manny's got five, and uh, Gary has one. We are racing to seven. Absolutely. I'll tell you, this is one incredible city, New York City. I'm very honored to be here. And uh, like I said, a big thanks to, to you, Al, for all your help. And uh, But what an amazing city. I mean, just what an absolutely incredible experience, uh, lower Manhattan here. Last time I was at uh, Amsterdam, it was actually uptown. So Yes, uh, this up is around a, 86th Street, you mean. Up yeah, this yeah. is a really nice facility here way more roomy <coughs> great of course in new york city all the chaos and everything well, you is great stop stuff by that was on the bar. oh nice yeah. thanks you got to stop by uh mike bloomberg's house and get the key to the city too right that'll be it yeah. they love me here they love me in new york city you'll probably wind up walking from up 86th street all the way back down Amsterdam yeah. the way you walk yeah i like it <laughs> i'm walking tomorrow too I think 46th Street the bus station is, and Don't we're be at 11th. If you bump into Earl, yeah, he might be out there running. He loves it, yeah. I've seen Earl run out in the rain and everything. Manny's electing the push. Ooh, free shot at the nine. I don't know about this. Ouch. Yep, that's a two-way shot, too. It's a two-way shot because the one is going to go underneath the 5-7. The yeah, the 3-7 down the other end, yeah. 3-7, excuse me. He looks like he's going to play the 1-5. Oh, that's the shot. Or safe behind the 3-7 with that's the That's a good ball. shot, too. That's a real nice shot. Look at that. Look at him cut this in. No. No, he, he, he sold out. He sold out. Sold out. That's why I don't like that because <laughs> he gets caught up in between there. Mm -hmm. Far from sold out. <laughs> you got to get back he, out of his pocket. Yeah, here. Well, he's got it. Spin behind the eight ball? Yeah, that's... Or see. whatever Oops. ball that is over the See, top. look at that. One right beneath it. Look at this. He's going to beat out the three. Nice. Beat the three. Nice got the when two. when plan comes together like that. That's yes. Tough. Now you're rolling. He got lucky there. I mean, he played that nice, but so he definitely got the roll. He got the roll of a lifetime there, I'll tell you. Well, if he could just open up and let his stroke out a little bit, you got to make it respectable. Oh, yeah. He did give Manny one game on the wire, so we know he shoots better than this. Absolutely. He's going to get off that rail. He's okay. Natural position, five to six. He's just got to watch the speed. Don't over speed it because it'll bounce right down, lower than where you need it. Wow. Oh, and there goes the cue ball. See him stand up. Five. Nevertheless, he didn't leave much. He sure didn't. Does Manny just slow roll this and lock him up on the eight pole here? That's a good move. Now, even though he's up 5-1, hey, see that? Yep, that was a great Let shot. Let that be a lesson. Even though you're up 5-1, sure. keep playing tight. Why not try to get ball in hand? It's the way to get the W. That's it. Think. Oh, Watch. look at this. He's going right in. Wow. Wow. Tough, tough, tough action. He threw his cue in. This. Oh, man. Well, he should have hit the ball off the first cushion. He wound up missing a ball, coming back, and then hitting the ball. Wow. You know, if he was going to kick it, he should have kicked it from the first cushion that he hit. Oh, he's potentially going to uh, give Mr. Stamat Stamoxis here the uh, hill. You're getting pretty good at that last Stamatakis. Go. Stamatakis. Say that 15 times, yeah. quick, but don't try it right now. I'm going to ask him the exact pronounced pronunciation of that. Uh, you know, I asked him, but my short-term memory is... Stamatakis, like, yeah. yeah. I think it's Stamatakis, but I've heard That's nothing... That's how I pronounce it. It's exactly how you see it. You yeah. break it down into one, two, right. three, four... Well, I, I heard nothing but good things about the guy. So yeah, me too. He must be a rock solid guy no matter how his name's pronounced. <laughs> I wonder if that's a Mike Webby shooting with. Not sure. I remember Mikey Webb used to make those extensions. Yeah. Extension I heard he's a great cue maker. Mike Webb's been around a long time. Mm -hmm. How about them Predator cues? Predator, the big sponsor of this tournament. Oh, Pre unbelievable. Awesome cues, man. Awesome cues. Big, big thanks to big Predator. They're giving a, a, way, a one wow, here, they're... like a $1,600 Predator cue. We just started working with Predator again, and uh, I'll tell you what, it's been awesome. They're they're great. They're I mean, what a great uh, set. They got their awesome customer care. You know, they got. I used to have a Predator chef. I still do, but 
uh, when it was broke, man, they sent it right back to me within a week and a half, completely fixed, no charge. Yeah, they, they backed that product. They're rock absolutely. solid, man. As long as you don't abuse the equipment. and uh, They called me back to confirm that it was in. They actually took their time. They didn't know who I was. I'm just another guy, you know. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, so. big outfit. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, Manny reaches the hill. There it is. Over Gary. Six to one. Doss Hill. To seven. There we go. And if you're just joining us, this is the Geeky Memorial 2012 at Amsterdam Billiard Club, Lower Manhattan. I'm Alvin with Inside Pool here with Upstate Al Leon. Yes, sir, and what a great turnout this is. Oh, yeah. At the Amsterdam Billiard Club, like you mentioned, this this, this place is exquisite. Great Gotta place. Got to come by and say hi, guys. Yeah, nice place. Support the Memorial Tournament. Especially for Lower Manhattan. I mean, it's clean. The food's great. The kitchen is super clean. The bathrooms are really clean, which is I was a chef for seven years. The number one is the bathroom, and their bathroom is spotless. So really nice. For a bar, the place is great. I would just like to take a second if Ginky's sister is tuned in. Uh, we would like to wish her a speedy recovery. We understand she's having some problems and couldn't get down here, but she said that she would be here in spirit. Yeah. We wish her all the best. Well, hopefully they can check the stream out a little bit. And enjoy that if they may. We're all coming here together for the gink. The gink man. George Sansusi. We're going to make sure we get his picture. He's got a wonderful painting on the wall over there. A huge painting of George. And Johnny oh, Arolino. Wow. I got a Should portrait have also of Johnny Arellino up there yeah. and uh, Jeanette Lee, yeah. I nice. took pictures of those. I posted them on the Facebook. Nice. They well, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what, that Kamui Chalk would have helped there for Manny, you know? He did chalk up, just miscued. Yep. Kamui Chalk would have definitely worked. Definitely. Chalk once every couple of racks. Yep. You end up getting in a habit, though, and just keep chalking and chalking, and then it messes it up. you're naturally in the habit. you got to get in the habit of not yeah. chalking up so much. Well, that's why Tor Torsten loves this stuff so much. The toaster. Toasty the toaster. Look at this. Gary got a roll out of it. This is what happens when you get down, you miss Q all of a sudden. Uh-huh. Seems like the ebb tide, you know, like the tide's starting to change. Oh, yeah. Mr. Scott Bannon back in the booth as Alvin steps out to do a little wiring. Somebody caught their uh, pocketbook on one of the wires that was hanging, so Alvin's out there tying it up, and Scotty back in the booth. And there we go. Welcome back. This was, a, this was kind of a turnaround match. Gary actually had a spot Manny one game in the race to seven. Uh -huh. And now it's six to one in favor of Manny, but Manny's been shooting solid. Uh -huh. I mean, he's just, he's staying down on every shot. They're both um, A players or B players or? Don't know. Don't know. Okay, they're not C or D players after that shot. <laughs> Looks like Gary might show up here for this game. He's got a nice, simple up and down. He can hit it so he doesn't have to worry. And uh, same thing. That's exactly what he's been doing. Whole match. Whole match. Whether he's just uh, in a hurry to get 
beads up on the side of his scoreboard or not. That tends to happen when the other player is close to the hill. You know, you start getting close, and, uh, you know, you feel it a little, you're like, I'm out, I'm out, and uh, you're not out. Fun to hit that a little bit. Makeable. Just got a whole whitey. He could either go around a nine or just... Actually, he can, looks like he might even bump the nine here. Depends on how, what he feels comfortable with, you know. Most players will try to hold the cue ball here so that it goes back and forth. They feel more comfortable. They feel like they're able to hit the ball. I just don't like sometimes a scratch coming off of the No, absolutely. Um, He's got to make sure he puts a good stroke on it. Hit it good. Yep. Manny on the verge of putting Gary on the one loss side here. This is only a race to seven. There he does. Manny comes out on and top of this one, one folks. bites the dust. And we are definitely going to get another match right up for you as soon as we can find out who's on the table. So we'll get right back to you guys. This is Upstate Al. I'm sitting in the booth with Scott Bannon, and we'll be right back with another match. Stand by. Okay.